Well, shit. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I'm Robert Storms. If you're finding my channel for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you for helping me get over the milestone of 10,000 subscribers. This coming Wednesday, I'll be doing a 10,000 subscriber live Q&A where I'll be giving away a free digital copy of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Also, I'm giving away two Black Panther pop figures you can win by simply going to Twitter and using hashtag BP Pick Me Storms. Once again, that is hashtag BP pick me storms in my Wednesday morning videos I will announce the winners so Black Panther was dethroned by Pacific Rim Uprising this past weekend in the box office Pacific Rim brought in 28 million where Black Panther only brought in 16.6 million look guys it was a hell of a run we all knew it was gonna end sooner or later right I mean hell many people a year ago didn't even predict Black Panther would be able to do this and not only did Black Panther cross a billion dollars Black Panther beat almost every single domestic superhero record known to man Black Panther did that the little movie that nobody thought could do anything came in gave the finger to each and every person who doubted it and not only did it cross a billion dollars it took every record on the way so bravo to black panther number one in the box office for five weeks straight no other film did that since avatar just an amazing movie i don't think people really get a grasp of what this movie did people look at it and they think oh it's just another marvel movie it's another complex it's not that at all you know, it's more to a lot of people. It's more to black culture. It's more to minorities in general because now it's saying, hey, Hollywood, guess what? We can we can start in our own movie now. You can have different cultures represented and now we prove to you, Hollywood, that we can make money. That's what Black Panther meant to so many people. Also, Black Panther meant a lot about how the world and how people in the United States want to close off everything from the outside world where Black Panther explained that you need to share our resources, our knowledge, our technology. We need to share that. And it really goes to show you how our country right now, how bad it really is, you know, the message that comes across in Black Panther, it's phenomenal. This movie has multi-messages. It means so much to several different people. Fantastic movie. It deserves every goddamn record it broke it deserves all the money it made it was a fantastic movie ryan coogler kevin feige i i sing their praises all the time guys but it's because they deserve it ryan coogler is three for three fruitvale station creed black panther kevin feige has been knocking it through the fucking roof with the mcu and what he's able to do every other studio is trying to replicate what marvel has done and they can't do it because people like kevin feige has a vision and he gets these great film creators like a Ryan Coogler or a James Gunn to come in and make these movies. That's why these movies are successful. So yeah, Pacific Rim Uprising might have taken the number one spot. I guarantee you, quality had nothing to do with it because Black Panther is leaps and bounds the better film. It's just time gets to us all, guys, and time just kind of got to Black Panther. But don't be surprised. If it still sticks in the top five for a long time to come. But I really want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about Pacific Rim dethroning Black Panther? Are you mad? Are you happy? Do you think it's about time? Be sure to share those comments in the comment box below. Also, if you're finding my channel for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, everybody, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.